Hello everybody, how are y'all? Um, I'm sat here cab at MS Stein in Oslo and all the way to Norway what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be transporting this 11 ton track to Jönköping in Sweden I hope everybody's alright and Uncle Colin and Auntie Rona are uh, not affecting you too much. Hope you're all well. But I'm still sat I'm still driving around in my Mercedes. Just been sat here for ages waiting for them to uh, get this back. Really? As you can see, my driver is extremely tired and do need to find somewhere to um, park up and and all oh, the rosers have just caught me whilst I'm trying to get somewhere to sleep. It's Oasis. But we're gonna be going towards Oslo Centre. on this my 30 mile an hour challenge and um, I know I've done a couple of silent videos since and when I did last do I asked for thoughts on what I want to do because I know it's it's okay it's easy enough to get jobs done for 30 mile an hour that are uh, around 300 miles but I want to start venturing out a bit further so I want to know what your thoughts are on me changing the speeds dependent upon the miles now what I was going to do is under 300 miles I was going to do 30 miles an hour between th 3 and 400 miles I was going to do 35 miles an hour between four and five hundred miles, I was going to go up to forty miles an hour. I've lost my train of thought now. <laughs> uh, right, where was he up to? Four hundred. Between five and six hundred miles, I was going to go to forty-five miles an hour, and then six hundred miles plus, I was going to do fifty miles an hour. So I'd, I'd like your input in that, I'd like your feedback on that. It saves me, you know, travelling at 30 miles an hour and trying to get these short haul jobs done. I know some people like to experience uh, other countries, instead of just from one country to another. And just I really really need to get to my driver to get some to eat. But this job is currently 263 miles, it's only a short job. An important delivery from MS Stein Quarry. It's gonna net me £11,392. Seems like the place have shut the road off that I need to go down. Do I risk it for a biscuit or not? Ah oh, well I think the decision's been made there. I think I'll, uh, I'll risk this. It might be something, it might be nothing. I end up getting turned back. Nice. 
nothing. It's a car fire. Oh, it's an accident. Thought it was a fire with the fire brigade there. <laughs> why? Why did they shut the road off for that? Trying to make a detour. Right, we're going to be heading towards Gothenburg, Gothenburg. This is uh, three one three seven. This video. Had that to wait a, a few days before I could uh, have been downloading all the maps what I had uh, downloading 137 SCS I've supplied us with if you've not already done so, I'm running another playlist on American Truck Simulator. I've got the um, Mega Map mix, which is Coast to Coast, Canada Dream, Mexico Extremo. And some of those jobs are absolutely heck. They're absolutely massive. They're over 3,000 kilometres. Once again, it's exactly the same because SCS have updated everything to 1.37. Oh, oh God Almighty. Oh, the lamppost! Shite. Damage my truck. Hey, what the flipping heck? You stupid. Hey, yeah, before I ran my truck into a lamp, uh, I was saying that SCS have updated American trucks in the 137. Or what the problem I have when they do the updates is it resets your game. Still, still dozing off. It resets all the game for you. And it takes you back to your home base. But it doesn't. It overrides your save game. It doesn't override the save game as in a way where you lose all your money or you lose all your experience. It just resets it back to where you started from, basically. So if you're doing a playlist like I'm doing, where I start from one place and I move around the countries and I like going for my last job and the next job from where I start in my next job from here is Yon Coppin and what I'll have to do there is I'll have to go from my home base do some jobs on this and then get back to Young Coppin so I can continue the series. That's the only problem I've got with it. I know you've got the facility to teleport. But I don't like doing that. And I know that if there's no jobs in the job market or the freight market and I've got a program called Virtual Speditor, which allows you to put your own jobs in. Oh God Almighty! I'm coming into a toll booth, and I'm 
Alright, so I eat. Oh, It's not going well, this, is it? At least there's somewhere where I can sleep here. But I went wrong lane anyway, so I'm going to end up getting slammed. Oh, he's, he's stopped. God for that. Taken me 82 miles to find somewhere to sleep. And I can't get the body truck in the right position. I'm falling asleep again. Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. Come on, come on, you know you want to. You know you want to, give it to me. Give it to me. I need to go to sleep. Come on. Come on. Come on. What a all this farting about. Oh, oh, and asleep again. I'm in a parking space. Yay, clapping. Yay, well done. Demona F has just made me two and a half grand. That's one of my other drivers. I think got three drivers. Myself and two others. Uh, not making me much money, but it's early days yet. I will buy other trucks. Gonna get this one to about this uh to say this to about fifty thousand miles and then I'll get a fresh truck for myself and that to another employee. Gonna pay for it stop by then. Well, we've just uh, we've just gone into Sweden. Ooh. Oh, pretty fast. Only eighty odd mile away. So another toll booth coming up. It's a toll booth on the other side. All right then. You ever played this game and you've been through the toll booths at Denmark? Oh my God, are they expensive? We're from Sweden to Denmark or Denmark into Sweden, they are absolutely astronomical. So also up to press. Booker's MP have not updated anything, they're still on 136. So there's gonna be no fucking with my mates. Until they do that, unfortunately, due to the cir the current circumstances, and people are working away, from, people are working from home. There's not going to be any release imminently, which is a bit of a, a bit of a bummer.
there's a link to my discord in there if any of you truckers watching this and you want to join a BTC I'll leave a link to the virtual trucking company that I drive for which is Grant and Sons we were originally the Road Warriors but now our boss has changed the name over to Grant and Sons um, just give his channel a check out he's raised him he does live streaming near enough every day apart from weekends Monday to Friday he's live streaming something and he's, he does videos on projects that he's got he's just done an arcade machine and uh, some unboxing of a new steering wheel what he's just got he also plays other games as well uh, I think there's a new one called Snow Runner out plays that he plays Wreckfest Seto Corsa also does some retro stuff no 80s stuff and I also whilst I'm there giving people shout outs I want to give a shout out to a good friend of mine I've known him since we was little kids well, I've known him well over 40 years and I'll give his channel a shout out he's Mr Jones 1972 he's currently got a couple of playlists he's brand new to YouTube so he's learning on the job as I am uh, he's playing Tomb Raider walkthrough and I think it's The Last of Us he's, that's another walkthrough that he's playing so give him a look I'll leave a link in the description below to his channel I'll leave a link to the VTC and I will leave a link to Ray's channel good friends of mine and once Truckers MP is back up and running and we do start getting some convoys going we do have a good laugh we really t we take the rip out of each other and that's how it should be we take we have a we have a lot of fun I want to say a big congratulations to another content creator that's oddball76 uh, he's just passed his 50,000 view mark so I want to give him a, a big a big up because if it wasn't for him then I when I first started watching this channel I had uh, like 20 subscribers and I jumped into one of his streams and got chatting to a few people and six months on I'm near 200 subscribers and it's all thanks to Oddball I'll leave a link to his channel in the description down below he's helped me out a lot Unfortunately for the rich, he is a key worker, he works in a hospital. So he um is because they're so busy at this time he streams sporadically. He does some Euro truck simulator, American truck simulator, does GTA five uh, Call of Duty so 
one, you see his stream, you see him streaming, just pop into him, say hello, tell him I've sent you. I'm just uh, going to carry on with this trip. We are 87 miles from our destination. So in theory, if I was travelling at speed at 50 miles an hour, it'd take me just over an hour in game time. But because I'm doing 30 miles an hour, you double that. So it takes two hours to two, two hours twenty minutes is left remaining. I mean, not good. Keep trying to talk my uh, my missus uh, into doing some streaming. I was on Fortnite. Unfortunately, she's not. Very compassmentous, she's not very confident on she doesn't want people hearing her. She wouldn't mind she'd be alright with the gameplay. If she's quite good on Fortnite, she's currently up playing Spyro uh, the trilogy. But she's not one for dreaming. I'd love her to be. No? Give her own channel. No, you're not one for doing it, she doesn't want to do it. Currently in Stockholm. Not too far away, we're 62 miles away. Ten in the morning on a Saturday on the game, not in real time. Uh, at the time of recording this, it, uh, it's Tuesday. It's no, it's not Tuesday. It's Monday. I'm getting ahead of myself again. This will be released on the Tuesday, though. That's why I'm thinking it was. Gonna be coming off this uh, this motorway. Of Hamburg and Yonkoping. Customers expecting this within the next couple of hours. It's going to be a hit and miss. Still driving with the joystick. I, I do have a steering wheel. Got the... Uh, what do you take? 920. Uh, but unfortunately, my desk can't accommodate it. Because I have a centre stanchion pedestal, and the steering wheel will fit onto the desk, but the pedals won't fit underneath it. So until I get a new desk. I'm, st I'm stuck with a um, joystick. I 
to try and talk my missus into getting me the uh, eighteen frame. Fortunately, it's a lot of persuading. He's not all for it. Good for fuel for the rest of the trip. Got plenty driving time left. Just whether we're going to make it there on time or not. Oh my god, when uh, everything's going back to normal now because I need a haircut. I'm in desperate need of a haircut. And I don't trust people with clippers. Gotta be right. Are being relaxed a little bit more, but fathers and hairdressers are not allowed to work. That, again, is my first port of call when they are open to the barbershop. Only eight miles from our destination. Got this track off. Gonna be turning left shortly. Going to Nordic Stenbrock. I think is another quarry. It's another quarry. Not been here before. New to me. Find out where we're going to put this trailer. I'd parking. Normally, like to park it. I normally like the parking difficulty to be difficult, very difficult. But well, I'm just going to play it safe because I don't like reversing. I don't like these quarries. Just play it safe. Easy. Easy parking. I'm stuck on. Stuck on that barrier. Give us back a little bit. I don't. They're quite easy, quite straightforward. This. By the looks of the trailer, it's not going to. Of jigging about. Right.
Bon. On doggy better than this. Not. No, we're not. Straight there, though. Reverse it straight back, and we. Come on, stop messing about. Get in. Bingo. Well, we're going to detach the trailer. We're going to call this the end of the video. Uh, just remember, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, I wish you good night, good day. Bye-bye.